In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with the layer mask feature in Photoshop. A layer mask is a non-destructive editing tool that lets you hide portions of a layer. For this example, I'm going to start off with this Photoshop file. It has two layers, as you can see here. There is the flower one layer at the bottom, and on top of it, we have the flower two layer, which contains a closer shot of the flower. And I've also moved the image in this layer off to the right so that you actually see parts of the flower one layer showing through. But what I'd actually like to do here is hide some more parts of the flower two layer so that more of the flower one layer is going to be visible. To give you a better idea of what I'd like to do, here is an image of the final product that I'll be creating. Using a layer mask, I've removed this portion of the flower two layer and as you can see, I also did it in a way that creates this soft blending effect where the edges of the flower two layer gradually fade. Now, I can actually achieve this effect using the eraser tool. I can simply use it to start erasing the parts that I want to disappear. But the problem with the eraser tool is that it's a destructive way of editing your image. And as I've mentioned earlier, the layer mask is non-destructive. When you use the eraser tool, the pixels that you erase are discarded. So all of that image information that you erase is lost. That's what I mean when I say destructive. The pixels that you erase are destroyed. So if you make a mistake, then you could either use the undo command or you can make a new file and start all over again. But the non-destructive layer mask actually preserves the pixels. Instead of destroying the pixels, the layer mask simply hides them. The great thing about using layer masks is that if you make a mistake, you can simply go back and edit the layer mask. There's no need to use the undo command or start all over again. Let's begin. Start off by selecting the layer and then click on the add layer mask button. This would be the new layer mask. Before you start working on it, you have to make sure that the layer mask is selected because you could either work on the actual layer by clicking on the layer thumbnail, or you could switch to the layer mask by clicking on the layer mask thumbnail. Once you have the layer mask selected, go to the toolbar and choose the brush tool. The way the layer mask works is that you paint it. Whatever you paint with black is going to disappear. If you want to bring those pixels back, then you paint them with white instead. So black is for hiding and white is for showing. I'm going to select the hard round brush preset and then I'll choose black for my color and I'll start painting over the areas that I'd like to remove. So you see, since I'm working on the layer mask, instead of seeing black brush strokes over the areas that I'm painting on, it actually looks like I'm using the eraser tool instead, but I'm not. I'm using a layer mask. If we take a closer look at the layer mask thumbnail, this is where we'll see the black brush strokes. And the area where the black brush strokes are correspond to the parts of the actual layer that have become invisible. If we want to bring those areas back, we can switch to the color white and start painting over the areas that we like to reveal again. So now I'm going to switch over to a soft round brush. And I'm going to make my brush size larger to about 350 pixels. And then I'll switch back to the color black. When you use a soft brush, this is going to make the brush strokes appear blurry. So when I start painting, the black shade isn't going to be 100% solid. Around the edges, the black paint is going to fade out. When the black color fades out, the layer mask will also make the affected pixels fade out instead of making them disappear completely. So with this technique, you end up with a soft blending effect.